Well, hello, it's uh, Mike, and um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about my action camera. The Sony, a uh, little bit old now, the uh, FDX 3000, uh, shoots in 4K, came out around 2016, and that's when I bought mine. And unfortunately, um, being an action camera, in a little bit of action, I managed to chip the lens. So that's gone back to the menders. Let's see if they can fix it. But in the meantime, maybe I get a new action camera. I could do with two anyway. And I looked really hard at the competition. Um, I think really DJI uh, entering the market has sharpened things up. And good old GoPro, I've got two or three of those, older ones. But they've now got to um, the GoPro Hero 8. And um, that's damn good camera. Uh, yes, I was very tempted to buy that. But there are still some little issues in my mind that they haven't come to terms with the need for an external microphone. Being able to plug it direct into the camera and not buy expensive add-ons that in turn need more expensive cages to fit them in. Otherwise, they're dangling around. Uh, their image stabilization, from what I've seen on YouTube, is sensational. Probably uh, better than the Sony. However, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed when I see it in low light. It seems to fall apart. And, um, yeah, I'm still not quite convinced they've got their color uh, profiles um, sorted out. They're good, but uh, I really like uh, the Sony always have liked it and it matches pretty well in with uh, other stuff that I do. I'm not looking for an action camera to be a full-on professional tool. It's an action camera. It should be really wide angle and this one is. Uh, the stabilization is a physical thing. The lens is attached to the sensor and they both move within the body to give you the stabilization. A well-proven Sony piece of technology. Sony are pretty well masters of sensors anyway. I wouldn't be surprised if they're not even supplying them to the competition. And they're pretty darn good with our lenses too. Uh, this is always sharp. Now, there are some niggles. But look, I've been using the cam for ages, so I can quite manage the menu system. Yeah, it has its glitches, it has its difficult to read, but basically all you really want to do is turn the thing on and off. That's what I do with an action camera. And uh, that's as far as I want to go. I don't even want to really have to color grade it. I'm happy with what I get. It works reasonably well in low light. We're in low light, not low light now. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy that this is screwed on to a little mini tripod. I can't do that with a GoPro. Um, you've got to have all these add-on things that just aren't inbuilt into the body. The body of this is pretty robust too. The sound is damn good without the external microphone. That's what I'm using now. It's a stereo little mini microphone that works damn well. It's also pretty good when I'm riding my bike. It doesn't get blown out with the wind. Uh, of course, excuse me, um, we also get an underwater housing. Uh, really well made, and yet you've got to put it on when you want to go underwater. But that means that these microphones are not being covered with some membrane as they are on the GoPro, which I still believe, while they're good, they're still a little bit muffled. Certainly better than the older GoPros, but um, hey, look, uh, Sony have got their way of doing things, and uh, I've got two of these now. Maybe I'll chop the back off, and I can even use it in dirty conditions and uh, still plug my uh, microphone in there and uh, I could drill a couple of holes in the front and uh, then I can uh, use it uh, on my bike and it's totally protected in this case with big buttons that um, is easy when you're on your bike and you've got your gloves on or if you were skiing with your snow gloves, boom. Uh, I like all of that stuff. So, yep, I've spent my money, number two, uh, I'll put up with some of the uh, failings, nothing is perfect, but for an action camera with a Sony, I am still saying, for me, it's the best buy.